When I first went to study abroad, I approached my parents, and the fees back then were $3,800. And you know, in 1985, to a family in upstate New York with seven children, boys, uh, that was unachievable. And so we had a garage sale and did everything we could to help me get abroad. And it, when I became the president of Kappa, one of the kind of core values that I embedded in our organization was accessibility. And the fact that I got to go abroad from SUNY as we go really left a kind of uh, sense of commitment to those students who may not actually get to study abroad because they'll never find the funding. And that motivated me to create these scholarships. I'm very, very lucky. And so I'm just a very lucky person to have this opportunity to be able to go with this scholarship. Um, studying abroad is something that I've always wanted to do. I am the third um, child of my family, and both my brother and my sister have experience abroad, and so I've kind of been like itching to go. And um, so having three children in the family, my mom is a stay-at-home mom, my dad has his own business, and he has never asked us for a dime when it comes to education. My two older siblings have both graduated from college, and now I'm in college, so finances have definitely gotten tighter and tighter as the years go on, and once I asked my parents if I could study abroad, it was kind of like, you're asking a little bit too much. And now that I have this scholarship, it's just like, this is all meant to be. This was supposed to happen. I was supposed to apply for the scholarship. I'm supposed to be going to London, and I just can't wait to find out like what's in store for me over there. My personal journey allowed me to see the world, to gain a, a world view that I wouldn't have been able to get without that. Nowadays, you know, information flows like that. You can, you can learn about the world on the internet. It doesn't mean you'll understand the world. These programs create accessibility and information experiences that actually mean we're going to be more connected. And I think that that is the spirit of the world right now, is to learn how to appreciate each other. China being the developing country that it is, is definitely going to speak a lot to what I've learned here, and I get to apply that over there, and then come back and tell my peers all about it, and my you know, professors and stuff. So. A real sense of community to the internationalization of this campus. And I can tell you, I work with a lot of institutions who speak that speak. But walking the walk means that your president and your academic council and your directors of international education, your student body and your faculty are on board. And here at SUNY Oswego, you get a sense that that is the case. This is not just talking about a global view, it's creating one. And I am very proud to see this happening.